Hey guys, Mike here. So if you haven't seen this yet, this is really, really cool and it's here and happening right now. 3D printed houses are being made out of concrete. And I don't know about you, but I mean, I'm, I've been in the concrete business for 40 years. I've seen a lot of new technologies come down the pipeline, but I mean, I've got a lot of questions about it. And I just wanted to bring this to your attention because this is this could be the next big, big wave of how houses are gonna be made in the future. So. If you've got questions, I just want to let you guys know about what's coming down the pipeline here and how you can get your questions answered. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to tell you about that right now. Hold on. Hey guys, Mike here. So I just wanted to let you know what's coming up down the road. The largest virtual event of its kind when it, when it pertains to 3D printed houses is coming up on May 9th and 10th. And this is going to be your ticket to get in there and get all your uh, questions answered. They got industry experts here. So the the purpose of the conference, if you take a look right here, and I'll have a link for all this down in the description of the video and on my website, is if you scroll down here, it says 3D printed houses. This is designed to answer all your tactical and strategic questions about how the how these houses are made, and the speakers are going to share their hands-on experience about all the construction sites they've been on when it when it comes down to these 3D printed houses. So if you've got questions, if you're looking to get into this market, if you, if you have any type of uh, business that has to do with 3D printing, this is the virtual event you're gonna wanna be at. They, they show some of the expert speakers right here. You can scroll down, you can check these guys out. They got more, um, they're, they're lining up. So. This will be the link to get to, to get your tickets, to get on this thing. Um, Alex right here will be the host. You can check him out. He's on TED Talks a lot. He's been on CNN, uh, Steve Harvey Show, Fox News. But the early bird tickets are $2.99. And then if you want a team, up to 15 people you can bring into this virtual event. It's $14.99. But I've got a, a little bit better deal. They've given me a little bit better deal than that for you guys watching. So I'll have a link to my website right here where you can go on from this page and they're going to give you $50 off if you use the discount code everything about concrete when you check out. So um, I'll get you the link to this page down in the description. I've made it very similar. I've, I've explained a few little things here, but if you want to get all your ans questions answered about 3D printed housing, this will be the virtual event for you guys to be at. All right. Thanks, guys. So I guess, you know, for me, so I'd have a bunch of questions about this. And one of them would be the cost, obviously. That would be first. Like, what's it cost to build a 1,500 square foot home, two bedroom, two bath, or 2,000 square foot home? Um, that's, I mean, cost when building houses is always going to be a question about, you know, how much can it be done for? Some of the other questions would be, for me, that I would want answered are, you know, is it faster to build a house this way? and like how much faster if it is compared to like a regular traditional stick built house how long is it going to take from start to finish you know obviously the the whole house isn't concrete mostly just like the walls i think but you so you still got to have builders come in they got to put a roof on you got to have the plumbers you got to have electricians you know how is all that going to play into a 3d printed house like this i'm sure that, you know they're already building them like this one right here so they, they must have figured all that out and there must be some hard facts as far as you know what these costs are another thing is like how energy efficient are they compared to regular stick built houses now that's probably going to be different depending on what part of the country you're in i live up here in maine so we we got really cold temperatures for three months out of the year we got really hot temperatures for three months out of the year you know how is a house like that going to do in this climate versus let's say in the climate like Florida or Texas, you know, are they gonna be energy efficient enough to, to be able to build all over the country or all over the world? And what, like, what are the design limitations or are there any design limitations? I mean, looking at some of these on here, it looks like you can do curves, you can do sharp corners, you can do like triangular type things, all kinds of different types of angles and shapes so it, it looks like as far as designing a house like this, it's it's kind of endless or limitless, but I, I guess that would be one of my questions. So 
And that might be one of the, definitely the advantages of one of these over say like a stick built house. Some of the, some of the, the shapes could be a lot easier and less expensive to do versus regular stick built. It looks like some of these 3D printers are huge. I mean, it must, there must be some type of cost, number one, to get them there, to get them set up, to get them calibrated and all that, to make sure they, they print everything, you know, level, square, and plumb, and true. That's probably quite a process. So that would be kind of interesting to know too. And then I guess another thing, by looking at some of these on here, like what about the walls? It looks like, it looks like they're kind of ribbed because they're done in layers. Now, obviously, I guess you could just leave them like that and paint over them, which it looks like some of them have. But what are the other options for the exterior walls? What are some of the options for the interior walls? Um, what if you want to finish them off? I mean, would you want to just leave the interior walls looking like this? Some people might like that, some people not. So what, what else can you do to smoothing out the walls to make them look finished how do you trim out the windows and doors is that a lot different than uh like a stick built home um it looks like there there was you could see some some blown in or some spray foam insulation that went down inside this one so that's that's kind of cool i guess that stuff's probably very energy efficient but what are the, some of the questions you guys have you know let me know down in the comments that would help out and then Kevin here, the guy that's running that conference, he's, uh, you know, maybe he can help answer some of those questions. He'll probably be on one of the speakers at the conference too. He's one of the chief engineers. There's showing a little bit here about the electrical and I, I know they're gonna show some a little bit here about like the plumbing, but like what if you change your mind and you know, you gotta move something up or down or over a little bit. Do you just, do you just drill a hole through it? Is that as simple as it is? But these are some of the questions I think that you can definitely get answered at the conference or you know maybe doing a little research by yourself on some of these sites I'm gonna come up at here at the end but for those of you guys that are really serious about this I would definitely check out the conference you know get, get your ticket early because they're gonna sell out fast this is a, a up-and-coming technology and I know I'm really interested in it. I would love to go to a site and see this Hey guys, so three of the bigger players in this space, as far as the 3D printing goes and the builders, uh, one right here is Icon, and they're looking to build a community of 100 houses right here with the home builder Lenar. So I'll, I'll have a link for these sites down in the description also so you can check these out, but here's where you, know, you can go and figure out if this might be something you're interested in as far as living in one of these houses. I mean, they look really, really cool. And I think it's the wave of the future for a big part of the housing community. So it's it's time to jump on board and find out a little bit more information about this stuff. And this is one site you can go. The conference will probably be your best bet for getting all your uh, questions answered. But you can do a little bit of homework yourself and a little bit of research yourself if you want to. And so this will be one site you can go to. Um, Icon's already building houses. They, they did these down in Texas right here. You can check these out from 900 square feet to 2,000 square feet. And you know they've got all kinds of other projects here they've been working on. So this, this stuff's already happening right now. It's just a matter of, you know is it something you wanna get involved with? Um, another, another big player is SQ4D. They're building houses where people are already living in. So they're printing, you know, they're, they're getting the foundation and the walls printed. And then uh, you'll be able to figure out like how the electrical goes in, how the plumbing goes in, what, how the roof goes on. So you can come here and check that out. And then Mighty Buildings, um, they'll be actually there at the conference. They'll be one of the speakers. They're already in this space and they're building 3D printed houses for people to live in, you know, so they got some floor plans here you can check out and then you know a gallery of pictures and stuff of what the homes can look like so again these, these are three of the bigger players I'll have links for these down in the description you can go check these out so thanks again for watching guys and we'll see you on the next one